Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you an Easter Sunday update on what's been happening with Weirbank and for those who've been saying we should be moving on a lot quicker than we are uh, to explain why we haven't been able to move along too quickly. Now uh, it's approximately seven weeks since we had the bit of a catastrophe involving um, the database and that though that is in the past I want to try and explain to you now very quickly why it has taken so long. Now, the problem that we've been facing is the sheer damage that was done to the database and the historical information that we needed to actually run Weirbank. This is not to go on about the scenario that passed, but simply to try and explain to you in a positive way, not in a negative way, attacking anyone in particular, but to explain to you why it has taken so long. We've had various people becoming involved in trying to help us resolve the situation, but the, the sheer extent of the data that we had and what was required to be done to it uh, was quite phenomenal. So, the bad news is that was what was done, and that was in the past. The good news is that we are functional again. Uh, it should be borne in mind that the degree to which we were, uh, should we say, uh, attacked and the degree to which the previously uh, fully functioning database was working, um, what we inherited after that debacle at the end of January, the beginning of February, was nothing short than now a miracle that we are able to continue. So the good news is we will be back online and running soon. The software platform that we were looking to use as well has faced a little minor technical uh, problem and so that is what's caused the delay particularly over the last two weeks. So coming after or should we say by the beginning of April we should be running normally and the joint form and the registration form and all membership details should be back online. So that's the good news. Now, for those of, out, uh, those of you out there who are waiting for the, the website to come online again, particularly the people also in the German-speaking countries that have been having quite considerable problems with the banking system in Austria and particularly in Germany, uh, we would like to draw your attention that you should now be using this next week or two uh, to come together in groups, begin working with each other, and please... Stop going on these Facebook chat, chat, um, chat groups and complaining about this, that and everything else you can imagine. It isn't productive, it doesn't help and what, above all it doesn't change the scenario here that when you originally saw Weirbank, when you actually looked at the phenomenon that was Weirbank and what it offered, that was a very, very good it was a very, very good ideology, it was a very, very good system, and the tools and the things that you were given to work with were formidable, they were practical, they were proven. However, at the first sign of choppy water, many of you have turned tail, thought the boat was capsizing, whatever type of analogy or simile you care to, to concentrate on there, and you've all decided suddenly, or many have decided, that the Weir Bank checks or the Weirbank LLTs don't clear. That is not the case, it is not the fact, and so you need to come together and work in small groups, just as people did in the UK, just as people did in Canada, as they did in the United States, come together in small groups and concentrate on asking and demanding of the banks themselves why the instruments are not clearing, if they're making any accusations, making a claim, then they must substantiate it. Don't forget, under Article 101 of the Treaty of the Convention on the Functioning of Europe, Articles uh, 101 to 109, they specifically state that there is to be open competition in the European Union. And anyone that is colluding or imposing antitrust violations there is subject to penalty under European law. So, whether it's in Austria with the group called Cerebrus, I think they're called, or Cerebrus, they're collecting up the LLTs and preventing them passing through the banking system. There is a, directed and a direct campaign against Weirbank in many of these countries. 
So, the bottom line here and the conclusion is, you have to ask yourself, where is the fight within you? This is the main priority here. You are either going to carry on in the system that they are preparing for you and have prepared for many a year, or you have a choice to come along with Weirbank. So join it and register with us if you haven't already. If you're already uh, a member, then possibly get ready to re-register. An email will be going out to all 12,000 uh, previous registrants, hopefully by the end of this coming week, so that will put us into the first few days of April. And from that point, it will be business as usual, and we will be stronger than usual. Okay, so thank you. Happy Easter to you all.